Hi there, it's Podzabinski on schizophrenia and related subjects again, topics. Uh, I'm in doing this video because I'm encouraged by a, an old comrade uh, with my wellness to uh, continue on with these YouTube talks. Today was the uh, neurologist who I waited for about the uh, tardive disorders from antipsychotic drugs. His a physician's assistant who came in was more interested in him than he was and knew exactly what it was about. And it wasn't about suing anybody because, see, I told her I have a pharmaceutical chemist, quality control chemist friend who works in a pharmaceutical lab. And he told me, what do you have to do in order to be able to, be able to sue somebody for something like the physical damage I've got from this? The, you know. So anyway, when it's like the neurologist came in, he wouldn't even talk to me. I mean, he, he had, wasn't even interested in a word I had to say, you know, except Estonia. And he said, walk down the hallway there. And But I was in a loose shirt, and he couldn't see my back actually moving. He said I have a, a, somewhat of a case of it. So, uh, But he wouldn't call it tart of dystonia. He, he said he's not going to say any of this is from the, the, the antipsychotic drugs. He said he don't like antipsychotic drugs. He tends to m m tweak them, move them around a bit. But with me, he's not going to touch them. But... He said he wouldn't admit to any. He, he obviously didn't want to quote it or any of this because he, he was thinking I was going to sue somebody. And I, I told him I'm not going to do that. I can't, I, it don't apply in this case. It don't meet the requirements. So, uh, which are that they deliberately withheld information from the authorities when they knew about adverse effects or side effects. So, anyways, it was a waste of my time because he was a total jerk. I can't wait to review him. I hope they send me a review for him like they usually do. He'll get a worse review of his 30-some-year-old life career. Uh, but anyway, I, I want to read uh, a comrade, if you read my book, uh, you'll know the name, Susan Colbertson, who was the assistant director assistant director of social work at the state hospital last I was there 30 years ago I met her. And uh, she's been a wonderful comrade, I call her, all these years. When at, uh, dire times, I mean, she's always got a kind word for me, thoughtful words for me. Like I, I sent a general message out about how this went with the neurologist today, and she wrote she's the only one who wrote me back, and she said, "Dear Larry, so sorry your appointment was disappointing and frustrating. I hate to say I'm not surprised. There are too many uninterested, self-protecting physicians in our system who are not curious and supportive of patients with real life concerns about side effects. I think your mission, after your review, of course." Are discussions and educational material you can contribute to YouTube users who follow you. I have many friends, she went on to say, as we are all dealing with aging who are experiencing side effects from all sorts of medications and little to no assistance from physicians about lesser potent chemicals to address their concerns. Heart surgeries, schizophrenia, diabetes, long COVID, Crohn's, anxiety, etc. I think talking to one another on platforms like YouTube is a wonderful resource that our grandparents didn't have. I guess we are fortunate about that. Thank, take care of you, Susan. So, because she encourages me to continue this, because I'm undaunted. I, I'm still. I, he, he didn't want to acknowledge any of this stuff, you know. But he, he didn't want to quote it, obviously, you know. So, it, it, so and like she said about the, she's old, ten years older than me. So, uh, or almost nine years older. I forget what she said. But, uh, so, uh, so I, I still believe what I, by my experiences with this and, and the profiles I've read, profusely read on Google Scholar search, the, the articles on this tart of dystonia, scoliosis, and, 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 and the profiles that fit it, that fit it, you know, the, the, the requirements for developing this, you know, I meet. Okay, it, it, I showed him one profile, and he, he just looked at it and talked back at me and said he, he don't believe that. But uh, because it was mixing the, the one agent, the, the Risperidone, which made me well in 1994, with the Abilify about 10 years later, the Apiprazole. That combination, that specific profile, results in scoliosis, tardive dystonic scoliosis. And it started at the same period of time when they prepared a purpose all without the Risperdal 20 years ago, when I was 46. So I still believe what I, by, by my own experiences and what all I've read about this shit, 
that uh, this is what has happened to me and that there are certain dangers associated with antipsychotic drugs. Don't stop taking them if you take them. But uh, tardive dyskinesia is just one of them, and there's a treatment for that now that was always thought, felt thought, thought, thought to be permanent. And the, since the 1970s, I knew I had it. It's an involuntary movement disorder that shows up, and, and there's a treatment for it now that makes it better. But uh, I even told the dude, man, I said, you know, it was so bad that when I put on a new drug for it, I said, when I put my palms together, I can feel the hand, other palm against the other palm, and the warmth from the other hand in the other hand, which I could feel. None of, none of that I could feel, I, I told him. Not any of that I could feel before, which is profound and startling. But to him, he, he just ignored it. You know, he just, he just didn't register a death response to him at all. Non-responsive. So it was a waste of my time. And uh, But I'm encouraged by Susan to keep looking at this because, you know, the scoliosis started at the same time as the aripiprazole. Uh, uh, that's what the re profile reads. It's not a long profile. It's a, it's a short one, actually. But uh, it, it mentions this, though, and they stopped taking the aripiprazole eight weeks later when she presented scoliosis or tortolicosis. There's, there's different words I looked up that I didn't really got a point to memorize. But just to read the article, I look it up, and write, highlight, right quick in Google, answer, search definition, you know. So I read things and understand them, but I don't make it a point to understand the language of the, the nomenclature of language of uh, medicine, you know, the generic terms and all that, medical words. But... Uh, I just tend to pick up on the things that apply to me uh, that I find out anyway, but other things may not still apply to me. I don't know. But uh, but he said he normally changes to antipsychotic drugs all around when he gets somebody like me, but he said in my case he wouldn't touch a thing. He's not going to touch a thing. But uh, he said he don't like antipsychotic drugs. So uh, the known tar movement disorders he's obviously referring to, but he wouldn't say it. He didn't want it quoted, obviously. So that's bullshit. Like Susan wrote, Susan Colbertson wrote here. She's in my third book. She put a piece in there, and uh, I wrote about her when I met her and how instrumental she was in in, in orchestrating my wellness and and uh, seeing it through and being there for me over the years like a comrade when I needed a little support, you know. So she encourages me to continue on in this modality. So uh, I'll probably continue this, but. Uh, so many different piles of paper accumulating different projects on their way at the pro moment, so I don't know what I'll be doing next when, uh, but uh, I'll be back in touch. But th so, uh, yeah, yeah, if you haven't read the third book edition, why did it go to three editions? The first edition was the way it was written. I wrote it. Then my friend, the optometrist, gave it to the newspaper editor at the time before they closed the newspaper down, and she read it, and she said, well, hey, it, it was a wonderful story about the time because I was stopped twice by police gunpoint in 1987 and 94 before I got the Risperdal that made me well and took that, all that shit away. And she conducted an interview, 25th anniversary, with wellness five years ago, this time of year, getting on this time of year. So that's a 25-minute interview that corroborates everything in the book, the whole story. And her contribution in the book of the third edition was so, so the newspaper editor offered me the second edition edit a buff and polished grammar job for her portfolio okay so she had a hard cover she was uh, working in and applying literary rules and guidelines literary style rules and uh, so it took her a year to do it and I took it two weeks to put it in the master file and get a print out of it a hard copy and uh, so she was happy she, she got the book for her portfolio and went into editing as far as I knew and uh, in the city somewhere I don't know where she comes from a family of editors but she was kind enough to help me with that and uh, so then the third edition I knew required a reconstruction edit because it was about two different stories in one about the schizophrenia and about the fact I studied philosophy in college when I was young in Tampa so two different stories the philosophy had to come out and it had to be more schizophrenia facts put in so that was the reconstruction edit, the third edition. That's the final edition. So I could say more about these part of movement disorders now if I was writing a book, but that's too much to ask me to sit at this table and scrunch my back down any further, sitting at writing how long hours it takes to do that. So I'm not, it's not going to happen. It'll have to be this medium on YouTube, and I'll just keep you informed of what I find out as I keep researching as I find time for it. And we're at the 10-minute mark here, so this is a shorter one, I guess. 
have fun and enjoy what I say because it's true. I'm not lying. You can look it up and verify it yourself on Google Scholar Search.